Hello Commanders and welcome to Miliodas Gaming in a new video. A very special video that I want to speak about the most advanced skills in Conflict of Nations. I'm going to tell you about four of them and let's start with the hit and run technique in land battles. These footages, they are from the Miliodas Gaming Battle Royale where I am Chad and I am playing against one of the best and greatest players in Conflict of Nations, World War III. Um, and here we are trying to perform the strategy of the hit and run technique. The first thing you need to do is to mobilize yourself on a straight line from your enemy. So later when you are going to hit back and go run, you will find a straight way ahead of you that you will not take turns or anything. Another tip, very important one, equip your province with military logistics that is going to help you be faster. Here, I am trying to refresh the server, attack again, attack again, because every microsecond here is very important. I established the contact and here I am going to try to run from the target. The target also, he is trying to catch up on me, he, he will use the rush button, but he will manage to catch up on me. Why? This is very important question. I am rushing back, I have military logistics, I have a tanker ace, but Turkey here managed to hit back. Okay, first of all, Turkey has a level 3 tanker ace that has a better speed boost. From the casualties here, I killed one multi rocket launcher and he killed one multi rocket launcher. To prevent this from happening, first of all, upgrade your tanker ace and also I only have level 3 main battle tanks that inflicted my speed, made me move slower. This is why Turkey managed to attack me. This is what I said about the straight line, don't do what Cameroon is doing now, never attack from a line like that always try to use a straight line in the hit and run technique because now he attacked okay but he is going to run but he has nowhere to run the enemy is going to catch him up easily like this like this we are on a straight line and when we are going to run back we are going to find a straight line this is all about the hit the hit and run technique in land battles. The second one, hunting ballistic submarines under heavy protection. This one was one of the greatest maneuvers I pulled off in alliance battles. You can see here I am playing with Greece. The enemy has ballistic submarines stationed in the coasts of uh, Italy. I have the ASW helicopters, but here how I am going to kill these elite subs, uh, not elite, ballistic subs without attacking his naval officer because they are protected by the naval officer of uh, Portugal. So here I am only going to declare war on Spain. This is the moment of the war declaration and I only declared war on Spain without declaring war on Morocco. So when I patrol over Spain, I am going to only engage war and attack the ballistic subs and I will not attack the Moroccan naval officer because if I attack the naval officer my ASW helicopters they are going to be doomed and look at this beauty I killed all the ballistic subs in one single strike without touching the other naval radars I have to mention that that place is well fortified with an air ace naval officer cruisers and even frigates in that region it's epic it's an epic stunt okay the third advanced maneuver hunting aircrafts with ASW, uh, asf and elite attack aircraft combo okay this uh, this uh, air contact is level six strike fighters a, uh, a stack of five strike fighters but I'm not going to hunt it with my air superiority fighters because why I want to kill that stack in one single strike. Well, the enemy has already managed to attack my land forces with his strike fighters. I saw them and sent my air superiority fighters to hunt him, but I'm not going to attack him yet. I will wait for him to go refueling. I will locate the airbase that he is flying from and I will send in the cavalry. What cavalry we are talking about? We are talking about the elite attack aircraft. The beasts against land targets. 
So when those strike fighters, they are going to be landed. My elite attack aircrafts, they are going to consider them as land target and boom. So here I'm going to secure that he is going to stay landing in the airfield or the airbase of Zagreb. I'm going to fly over him without attacking him. You need to keep moving. Do not stop patrolling because if you stop patrolling your air security fighters, they will engage the target automatically. The target has disappeared now. That means that he is landing and he is refueling. I'm going to fly over him now and keep him there until the cavalry arrives. Let's have a look when the elite attack aircrafts, they are going to arrive to the uh, crime scene and let's see what is going to happen to the Greek strike fighters. So these are strike fighters level six, a stack of five. If I attack him on air with my air superiority fighters, I will, not, I will not manage to kill them with one single strike. But with this maneuver, we are going to manage to kill them with one single strike. Look at this beauty, boys. Look at this. Okay, a few seconds until my EAA arrives and boom! A stack of five strike fighters have been wiped instantly. Instantly, look at that. Five strike fighters. This is an epic maneuver that you need to learn about. Never see a target and just send a spirit fighters to attack him. Wait for him until he goes back to fueling and send your heavy aircraft. And the final one is the hit and run technique in naval battles. This is my favorite as a naval player. This is my favorite. Let's go back to the naval battle in the elite game here versus brute force. First of all, the location of your ships. You see here the enemy is located in shallow waters while my navy is located in high seas. This is the buff and the debuff of speed uh, in different locations in different waters because you know in shallow waters your, uh, your uh, ships they are going to be slow. In high seas they are going to be fast. In order to perform a hit and run technique properly, attack your enemy and go back without receiving a counter attack, you need to be in high seas. Look at this boys, I attacked him and now going back on a straight line. Well not 100% straight line but it's good. Now I can go back, he cannot he cannot catch up on me. Why? Look at the speed. It's 675 with the rush button. He cannot catch me up. So here I managed to attack him with my naval officer. A very heavy one with one naval officer and four cruisers. And I will keep doing the same with the stacks of my cruisers. The good thing that I am located on high seas. He is still trapped in the shallow waters. He will be slow. We are going to be fast. Attack him quickly, refresh the server and go back. Like that you will wipe his stack instantly. With only one strike from my naval officer, I killed one cruiser. This is his naval officer. He is also trapped in shallow waters. I will try to kill the first naval contact and later on I will move on the naval officer. Like that I will wipe him out from existence. This technique is very important in naval battles, especially in alliance battles because everything is connected, everything is uh, controlled. Here you see that there is a naval raid, uh, a land radar in the city in that province. Just avoid attacking it. If you attack it, you will lose your attack and it's going to be on air. Here I am using the fire control. Hold fire, I'm holding fire so my cruisers, they are not going to automatically engage that land target. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Let's meet up in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.